In this video, I will be talking about concentration and different ways to measure the concentration of a given substance. So, concentration measures the, the strength of a solution, how, how strong a solution is. So, you could say the, the more concentrated the solution is, the stronger it is. You could, you could think of it as like perfumes. The, the more concentrated the perfume is, the stronger it will smell. So that is what concentration measures. It measures strength. But in other words, you can define it as the amount of dissolved solute relative to the amount of total solution. So it would, it would be how much solute you have. So amount, actually let me, concentration. So, concentration measures the amount of dissolved solute and what will define solute as what got dissolved in the solvent. So it's the amount of dissolved solute relative to the amount of solution. Relative to the amount of solution. So, I mean, you could think of it as if you if you don't have a lot of solute in that solution, uh, it it won't be as strong as if, as if you have a lot of solute in the same volume of solution. Or you may have a lot of solute on it, but the but how much solvent you have, how much solution there will be, like. You could put five teaspoons of salt in water, but if you have a lot of water, it won't really change it. It's, but if you have little water, it will change it a lot. So, what you really have to take on about this is this and this. I'm going to show you the different ways to measure the concentration now. The first one we're going to talk about is mass percent. And there's a formula for calculating the mass percent of a solution. So it would be the mass of solute over the mass of solution times 100. And beware of this. They usually will give you the the mass of the solute but they will give you they won't they may give you the the mass of the solution or not they usually give you the mass of the solvent too so you have to be careful of this it's the mass of the solution not the mass of the solvent um, just by adding it up you can get the mass of the so solution is equal to solute plus solvent in case you didn't know so if they give you the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent, you can get this mass by just adding it up. And then here you just put the mass of the solute given. And it's multiplied by 100 because, as its name says, this is a percentage. So by it just let me, let me write it. It will be better to explain. So this will be in grams. And this will be in grams. So grams will go in grams, and you will only have this this hundred here which will make it a percentage we'll just call it x percentage and that is how you obtain the mass percent of something it will be in percent not in grams. remember that the second unit of concentration or way to determine concentration we're going to talk about is the volume percent I forgot to put the two here um, it is basically the same as the mass percent just instead of it being like the, the grams of something you you will use liters so it will be the same formula volume of solute over volume of solution times 100 volume solution times 100 
I don't remember, I only remember this is solution, not solvent. And to picture it as I did before, this would be in liters, this would be in liters, they would cancel out, and you have a hundred here. So this would be, let's say, Y percentage this time. It is in percentage, it, 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 it's a percentage, the, the name says it. Now, the third way to measure concentration, it's, it, it's a bit different. It's called parts per million. And, well, it's unit, or well, you can just write it as ppm. And this one, will, its formula would be milligrams of solute over one liter of solution. Sorry about that. One liter of solution. So that would be its formula. And well, as you can see, there's no hundred here because it's not a percent. So your final, your final unit won't be percent. Um, be careful with this. They usually give you the the mass in grams. So you have to transform it to milligrams. And this will always be a one. So you'll be given, let's say, x gram, uh, x grams, and those x grams you will divide always by one liter. You don't change this number, and you will get it in, in parts per million. Sorry, this this x grams. Be be careful about it. It's actually milligrams. So you will multiply this x grams by a thousand so I, I don't want to write x again from the, it'll only confuse you so you would say this x g times a thousand is what you want to write here well finally the fourth unit or way to measure concentration is molarity which is written as big M, capital M. And it is simply the number of moles you have, so number of, of moles of solute, of solute over one liter of solution. It's one liter again. That, that this number doesn't change. this is what will usually change and I'll be I'll be talking a little bit more about molarity in the next in the following video because it is the one you will use the most as a as a unit of, of concentration